What's up guys, this is Double Tech. Now in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing and taking a look at the Knievel BTX 270. This is a wireless rechargeable speaker for mostly all of your mobile devices. Now we're gonna be taking a look. I'm gonna be showing you the good things, the bad things, some specs, and letting you guys know if this is a good speaker to pick up or not. All right, so now let's pop this baby open and this is where you will find the wireless speaker on top, which is the BTX 270. Underneath that, you will find an auxiliary cable as well as a micro USB. And it also has a user guide so you can read over that, learn a little bit more about your product and what it has to offer. Now taking a closer look at the device at hand, you guys will see that it has a rubberized finish across the top, back, and sides. Towards the front and the back, you guys get a grilled finish. Now in the front of it, you get three buttons, which are dedicated touch buttons. You get the volume up and down on the left hand side. And then on the right, that's where you'll find the pairing button, which of course allows you to pair with mostly all devices. Towards the side, you get an on and off switch as well as the micro USB to charge the device and the line in, which is for the auxiliary cable to connect from here to your device that is not Bluetooth enabled. And on the top, you get the branding of Knievel. And towards the bottom, that's where you guys will find some branding alongside with the model number, which is the BTX270. Don't forget that. So now that you guys know what comes in the package, and I took you a tour around the wireless speaker, what makes this wireless speaker different than the others, you may say? Well, the first thing, starting off with the price point on what you're given on this wireless speaker, the price is just insane. Now, regular price was $60, but now it's on sale on Amazon for $40. Bucks. So if you guys are interested in picking this up, I will drop the lowest price that I will find on Amazon in the description below so you guys can get the best deal on it. However, the video does not end there. I had some time to mess around and test this wireless speaker as far as sound quality is concerned. Now, as far as the bass is concerned, it has three watts in each driver and for it being small, it doesn't pack a lot of bass, but the mids and the highs were at a good tone as well as the overall loudness of this little portable speaker. As you guys can see, it fits in my hand. So it's not a big device and that just makes it more portable if you wanna throw it in your backpack even fits in your pocket at that. Now some small things that people really don't notice but just makes the device a little bit more friendly to use is that it has this grip along the sides as I mentioned before. So you can place it basically upwards, backwards, or just regular and you can pretty much not have it slip on any of the surfaces that you place it on. So that's a nice feature to notice as well as having this vent in the back which is the back of the speaker. It allows the air to go in and give you a more louder and pretty much just spreads the sound across the room which of course on a little wireless speaker like this a loud sound is a plus at that. Now some other little cool things that you may find on this wireless speaker is when you turn it on and off you kind of get this beeping sound as well as an LED light which you will find on top of these buttons right here. Now as far as pairing the device it's pretty easy you will click down on the pairing button for at least six to eight seconds until you see some lights start to flash towards the middle. That's when you want to go to your device enable Bluetooth and you will find it there the Knievel BTX 240. Simply tap on it, it will take a few minutes and voila, you're connected. You will hear a sound from the speaker letting you guys know it's paired. Now I'm also gonna show you guys a little test that I performed. Now of course the sound's not gonna be at the greatest quality because it's coming from my camera audio, but it's gonna be showing you guys on how it sounds from your mobile devices and then switching on to the Knievel speaker. And you guys can kind of see the loudness and the clarity of it. So. Here it is. The lock said to be the way that iOS lock screen slider should be. You still have your camera, but this time on the left and then the slide. Now this tweak doesn't do too much to your device, but it gives you a different style to your lock screen. Third one was inspired by iTunes 11 mini player in which name of the tweak is similar being called mini player it's basically allows you to bring and as you guys saw there the sound is basically like night and day compared to the device and the wireless speaker in person it sounds more clearer and just overall something to get for the price point as i keep mentioning anyways guys that's pretty much going to do it for this video of the unboxing and review of the Knievel btx 270 I have reviewed many wireless Bluetooth speakers in the past and I gotta say this is one of my favorites due to its affordability and what it has to offer. 
So anyways, as I said before, pricing and availability will be in the down bar below, as well as my social network so we can stay connected in case you missed any of my videos on YouTube. I know how the feed is very crazy. So that's why you wanna head over to my Facebook or Twitter or even Instagram, because I may upload a picture or post the link to one of my recent newest videos. And also just drop a comment below. I would love to know what you guys think about the Kinevo BTX 270. And I guess that's my cue to catch you guys in my next upload. See ya.